Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be using every single pink art supply I own or that I could find. I'm sure I have a lot more somewhere else, but this is what I could get my hands on at this moment. But let's go ahead and look at the art supplies that I'm going to be using. Here are the Copic Chows. I actually don't have that many dark colors in the Copic Chows. They're mostly all just light colors. And then from the Copic Sketch, even more light colors. Some of these probably overlap with the Chows. And I could only find two of these illustrator markers that are pink. And now for the Art and Fly, these are the colors I found. Finally getting to see some darker colors. But yeah, more light colors. And then these are the Arteza gouache paints. We got some Arteza color pencils. And then these are my Beyond Your Markers. These are the Arteza fine liners. Okay, so the struggle with picking this out is finding colors that are not red, but actually pink. I like finding dark colors that are dark pink, but like not red. <laughs> that's red, that's red. I'm t reading the names on here. So this one is pastel pink. Okay, that's it. Here are the oh, brush markers. And I could only find two Prisma colors that are pink. This looks a little orange, but these are the two pink colors I could find. And I'm really, really happy I found this. It kind of looks like a purple, but I'm sure it's a dark pink color. Yeah. And then three of the Sharpie Originals. All right, so these are all of the art supplies I'm going to be using. So let's get started. So the people who have been on this channel for a while already know that I've done this challenge using the same color. That was when Drawing With Waffle originally came up with the idea. That's a very long time ago, but yeah, I just didn't really like how that drawing came out. So I really want to just redo it. I know it's pink, but I want to make something mysterious, like kind of sad. Let's see how sad I can make this girl look. I'm going to mostly do a headshot. So this is going to be a headshot. I just picked up this. What are these? Oh, okay, so this is the Arteza pencil. I'm just going to be using the pencil to sketch. So this is going to be kind of under realistic style, I guess. Do you have something to say? Because the feelings in my mind. I really want to make her neck really long, so if it does end up looking really long, I'm doing that on purpose. I don't know. I feel like if I give her a really long neck, it's going to look... I want it to be a little weird. Hmm. Can I give her a choker? Maybe I could give her some kind of a tattoo. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna put this pencil down. We actually did a lot using just one art supply. Would you ever take me? Cause my heart is all I can. Okay, okay, I'm gonna put this down. I'm liking the face so far. Okay, so the problem is I don't even know where to get started. I gave it. Skin. I'm going to have dark colors around her and then lighter colors right on her face. Let me know if pink is your favorite color so we can be twins. We can be color twins or something, I don't know. We can make it make sense. I might just have her skin be like really pale because I really want her to contrast with the background. Let me go into the Copic sketch markers. Alright, so now let's see this color. Maybe I can color the strawberries this color too. A 
this one here is a very light color. I guess I could use it on the skin just to add some shading. So starting with this over here. Is this a purple? Thought it was a pink. Oops, wrong color. Damn it. I wonder if I can like blend it out. All right, that is enough fun for one marker. Holy cow. I'm going to take this color here. Alright, so I picked that color up. I really like the look of her eyes being light like that. They kind of look really empty. I might just run with that idea. Taking this here. Oh, I thought that was pink. This is not the color. Oh, yeah. R84 Rose Red. Rose Red? Okay, that's red. That doesn't even look red. Oh, Illustrator Markers. been cool if I kind of left her hair white but right now it's looking a little too weird for me to just leave it white <laughs> and I can't make her skin that light and then her hair be light too so that's going to look weird thinking should I make it like really really dark like this one <laughs> Oh my goodness, I don't know what color I should do for the hair. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Forget about the hair right now. Let's do the background. I need to make this smooth. I do not, I don't like how choppy this is here. I'm just trying to find the right color that's in between there. Mm, this is not it. I think I'm gonna make her hair really, really dark. All right, okay, that's dark enough. I'm about to have a heart attack if I don't have enough ink in here to last this whole thing. I'm gonna like freak out. This feels really dry. I don't like that her hair is kind of disappearing into this background. That's one of the things I was afraid of. Not dark enough, it's going to disappear into the background. It's happening here. I'm done with this color. Oh my goodness, you guys, we have so much more to go.
Gessel's almost done. This one here is the metallic one. I'm gonna put in her little, oop. <laughs> All right, I forgot that was wet. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that metallic thing that's happening here. Okay, so here's the last color. Oh, this one's pretty dark. I thought it was gonna dry and dark like that, but no. It's drying really light, so I'm gonna leave it right there. <laughs> this is what it came out all looking like. Let's do her little shines. It's not pink, but it's white. <laughs> so we are done. This is what the final piece looks like. I'm actually really happy with this piece. So that is pretty much it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys liked today's video. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.